Today we're going to talk about my and Taz's favorite enrichment toy. Right Taz? Right, so this is a treat cage and you can get these at a couple different places. Dr. Foster's and Smith has them um, as well as my Safe Bird store and I've seen them a couple different places. They come in different sizes. Um, this is kind of a bigger one for Taz um, who's a rose-breasted cockatoo so she's considered a small cockatoo, so a medium-sized bird. Um, and you can stuff it with a whole bunch of different things. So I just brought a whole bunch of stuff out here. The toys that it comes with are kind of harder wood toys. And you can buy the refills of these. And you can see she doesn't really chew these apart all that much. She's kind of a moderate chewer, I would say. But I still put them in there because at least it gives her some variety. I like to put all different sizes items in the treat, treat cage and different hardnesses. Um, so we use those. The other thing that I put inside here are foot toys because she's not really big on playing with foot toys. And of course I went out and bought a bunch of them before I realized that. So I put them in her tree cage and then she goes ahead and chews them. So here's one of the foot toys. It's got some um, almonds and things stuck inside. And then here's one that I just bought that's a balsa wood. So it's a really soft wood. She could probably tear this up really easily. The thing I liked about this is it has the paper rope on the side, the purple. I was a little bummed that the paper rope didn't extend too far out the side. So I had to get like the tiniest little nut right there. And I'm going to go ahead and close that and tie it up before I put it in her treat cage. Um, so these are really great for enrichment and for foraging. For food so it depends on what level your bird is at Taz here I would say is kind of a beginning to middle forager so I kind of keep things put like some really simple foraging things in there and then I also put some more moderate foraging um, opportunities in the treat cage so this one I would kind of consider a moderate one just the toys being thrown in there is more of like an easy one they can see them through the bars and just reach them and things like that. The other thing that I put in the treat cage is old toy parts, which I love because I absolutely hate wasting. And toys are so very expensive. I try to make some, but my scopes are more about keeping things simple with parrots and making a toy for like four hours is just totally not my thing, but I really um, just envy those that do it because they're beautiful and I wish I had that in me, but I don't. So we put um, all old toy parts in there as well. And that's what that is too. And then even just cardboard tubes. This is from an old toy. I cut it up and then just use different segments of the toy um, to hide things in. So this is a finger trap, a Chinese finger trap. And I've just got a nut here that you can put right inside there and hide it. And again, if they're more of a beginning forager, have it sticking out so that they can see it. If they're more advanced, stick it in there. You could even cut this up into pieces and stuff one nut inside each section. Um, and then I have these little bagels. They're kind of the longer ones. And always, you always want to put bagels in that aren't as big as their head. Because we actually had um, Taz playing with some bagels that were, you know, about this size. And I was there watching her when she was playing with them. And it flipped over and went right around her neck like a necklace. And she kind of freaked out. So always make sure things are the correct size for your bird. So banana chips are one of her very favorite treats. So I hide those in there before putting them in the treat cage. And then there's other things like banana leaf toys. She absolutely loves cork because she likes things she can really tear into. Um, there's yucca chips and these are kebabs, some cardboard stuff. These are pine cones that you can buy specially that have already been disinfected. And then this is just a scoop from some old bird food that I disinfected. And then I go ahead and hide you know, a nut or some other morsel that she likes in there. And then you just kind of start stacking them up as you go along. So I put some of the hard stuff on the bottom. Then I layer on some of the more moderate stuff like that. And then these are just some things that you can buy. I usually buy like four to six of each thing that I really like. And then just, I have it on hand so it's super easy. Just pull the treat cage out. It just unscrews. There's a little ball at the top and it unscrews. Super easy to fill. Another thing that I really like doing when they're more moderate um, in their foraging, if they like Nutriberries and different snacks like that, I like to wrap it up like a little piece of candy in a paper towel. And then you can also use the um, paper shred and you can put that all in between everything that you put in there. So again, you just start layering it with some of the more soft stuff 
and then some more of the hard stuff until it's all full to the top. Um, you can also use these for food, so you could definitely throw in there like a half of an apple or part of a banana, and you can kind of mix it up, but then I take the toys out, and I just do one or the other, otherwise the toys get all gross and yucky, and you got to wash them off. So, what else do we have here? This is the coconut fiber. So you can put different size things in. I like different textures, different hardnesses, and different sizes. You just have to be careful because some things are so small that they tend to fall out of the um, cage sides. Um, where'd that little cup go? I want to show you guys. So like with this little cup that's down here, I have something hidden in there that definitely could fall through, but I have it in the cup and then I kind of turn it sideways. So she actually has to get in there and kind of rummage around and move this stuff and then also turn the cup around in order to get that um, treat. And I've been using this for a few months. I'm very lucky. She is super adventurous. You want to say hi? She's super adventurous with her toys. And I don't know if I've ever had a bird <laughs> like that. I can put it on the outside of her cage. I pretend to play with it for like two seconds. She kind of looks at it and then I put it in her cage and very slowly and she usually accepts it right away. So I've been super lucky. If that doesn't work, you might have to keep it on the outside of the cage. Are you waiting for a treat? Yeah. I mentioned earlier we were working on stationing today. And so because I was training before I came on the scope, she's like, Mom, I'm on my perch. Where's my treat? Right? Good job. Yes, you're being a very good bird. Did you get it? Did it slip? Wait, there it is. Good job. All right, so back to the treat cage. You just continue filling it until it's full up to the top. And again, these come in all different sizes. Um, be careful though, not all of them open up. This one completely opens on the top and then has a cover for it. Not all of them do that. You have to kind of stuff them from the outside, some of the little ones. So just kind of watch that when you're looking for one um, online or at the store because I really like that it opens up and I can completely clean it and I can fill it with any size stuff. And then one last thing I want to tell you about these, which is kind of important. Sometimes when you put it on, it lines up a little bit differently. And sometimes when you close it, it closes perfectly flush. And other times, if it's twisted, it doesn't close flush. And they can easily get a nail caught in there. So just kind of pay attention to that. And it's like with any toy, you just have to know your bird. And kind of watch them really closely when there's a new toy um, that you have in their cage. And just know if they eat something they shouldn't eat, don't include that in the treat cage then. Just leave it out. I've been using these things in her cage for over a year, so I know she's not going to go ahead and just eat any of these. So I hope that was helpful. This is my and Taz's favorite enrichment toy. Um, and again, put appropriate levels of enrichment and foraging opportunities in there. If you make it too difficult, they'll just get frustrated and won't know what to do. So make sure you have some that are super easy and then other ones that are more moderate. And then if your bird really knows what they're doing with foraging, you can put some more difficult um, options in there as well.